Hello everyone, this is Ajit Juwan. Thank you for turning in. I always appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button, the bell notification, the like button. And if you want to, please leave a comment. And if you think this information is very valuable, please share with a friend. I always appreciate a growing audience. Now, I get a lot of questions and I just want to clarify, what's the difference between ox bile and tutka? Now again, I can't promote any brands in particular, but these are the ones I recommend to my viewers, my patients, anybody who writes in and wanted to know what to you. Now, here's the thing, before you even think about writing it in, I cannot recommend any brands or dosage because dosage varies. And that's why I always say, please do your research because we, we process things different. Men process things different than women, different ethnicities, height, weight. If you're more heavy set, are you more lean? Are you a bodybuilder? Are you a couch potato? It all breaks down at different speeds. So this is why I'm always saying, do your research. So stay tuned. First, I'm gonna do a, a review on ox bile. And then afterwards is Tutka. So thanks for turning in. Okay, when I'm talking about ox bile, I'm talking about a supplement, this one. Now I can't promote any brands in particular, but this is the one that I always recommend. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. So when it comes to supplementation, now if you have a gallbladder, it's a different type of story because you ha the liver makes the bile, the bile is stored and concentrated in the gallbladder by 20 times and when you eat something sure it sends a signal to once it passes through the stomach it goes into the small intestines it sends a signal to the gallbladder to drip down and secrete bile which helps emulsify fats and a number of other functions that are beneficial to the body the thing is when you have a gallbladder it's either on or it's off now i'm talking to the particular people who don't have a gallbladder. The people who don't have a gallbladder, you need to be on some type of supplement for the rest of your life. Why? Because without the gallbladder, it's like a leaky faucet. It just drips, 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 drips into, the, into your intestines. Now, one of the functions of bile is to lubricate the colon. So people who don't have their gallbladder, this is where you have bouts of constipation or diarrhea. So then let's talk about what is bile. Now, I'm going to send a link. I have a link down below which breaks down the whole stomach system. So watch that if you're unfamiliar with bile. What I want to do is just answer the question, what's the difference between, between ox bile supplement and tudka? I have a lot of questions on that. Bile, remember bile is bile acids. It's a soap that helps break down and absorb fat. Fat soluble vitamins, vitamin A, D, E, and K. So bile emulsifies fats and neutralizes the acid. So, so if your stomach has a proper pH between one and three, what happens? There's a lot of acid. Now, when you eat proteins, you need more acid because protein helps break it down. It helps neutralize it. Any, any type of toxins denatures the protein to make it safe to pass through the small intestines. Now, if your stomach is a proper pH between one and three, okay, now that's acidic. So it's gonna to go to the small intestines and it has to neutralize it because bile is very alkaline. That means alkaline above a pH of seven. One to seven is acid, seven to 14 is more alkaline. So you want, you don't wanna be burning a hole through the small intestines, so it helps neutralize it. Also, in addition, ox bile, I'm sorry, ox bile, bile, helps absorb fat soluble vitamins, vitamin A, D, E, and K. So if you're not, if you don't have a gallbladder, or if you're not producing enough bile, then you're not absorbing the fat soluble vitamins, vitamins that your body needs. In addition, it's excretion of bilirubin and acts as cholesterol. So people who don't have a gallbladder, sure, your cholesterol is elevated because you don't have the bile production properly to help get rid of the excess cholesterol. So no wonder why you have increased cholesterol. In addition, it provides an alkaline fluid in the duodenum to neutralize the acidic pH that comes from the stomach. Remember, your mixing pot 
is very, it should be, a, if it's working properly, and I'll get to that in a second, when it goes from the stomach to the small intestines, the duodenum, the first part is very acidic, so it has to neutralize the acidity. Okay, now the magic question is, when to take it and how much? And I always say, do your research because it varies according to person, the individual. Do you have your gallbladder? Do you not have your gallbladder? Are you a man or a woman? Are you heavy set? Are you more lean? Do your research because I only have so many hours of the day to do my job and I can't do my, I can't do your job and do my job together. So this is why I always emphasize, do your research because it varies according to person. So the dosage. It really varies according to the pH of your stomach. That's a big deal. The big deal going upstream is how much pH is in your stomach because you want your, the, stomach, the pH of your stomach between, be, to be between one and three. Why? Because ox bile is alkaline. So it all varies depending on the pH of your stomach. So if you're, when you take ox bile, if you're experiencing some bloatiness, What's happening is that the stomach is not acidic enough, meaning between one and three. It kind of sounds like an oxymoron because I have people say, well, it doesn't make any sense. I thought if you increase the pH, it's better. No, no, no. If you decrease the pH, it's better. So the stomach does not, is not acidic enough. So what's happening, then you're taking an ox bile, which is making the stomach more alkaline. So the stomach is more alkaline so then when it passes through to the duodenum, now you're bumping up more to have more alkaline. So this is where you may get a bloated stomach. Now acid reflux, the stomach, again, is not acidic enough. The stomach has to be between the pH between one and three, which closes, I always say, which closes the, port, the porthole. If your stomach pH is above 3.5, that porthole does not close. And what happens with the acid of the stomach? It comes up the esophagus and you get this acid reflux. So that means that the contents in the stomach is more alkaline. I would recommend you, so the first and foremost, you need to make those, your stomach more acidic. So this is where you can take apple cider vinegar or betaine with HCL because your goal is to make your stomach more acidic. So in these two instances, bloated, acid reflux, belching, burping, your goal is upstream is to make, you have lack of stomach acid, so you need to make more stomach acid between one and the pH between one and three. Now, what if you're taking it and you have loose stool? Okay, the, now it's the opposite. So now here, your stomach is making enough acid, but the problem is now, here's where the other problem occurs. In the duodenum, it's not, alkaline enough. Remember, what's a function of bile? To neutralize acids and provides an alkaline fluid in the duodenum. So what if that duodenum doesn't have, is not, does, is not more, is not alkaline enough? Now you're adding more, okay, with the, with the ox bile. So then this is where you get loose stool or diarrhea. Again, six on one side, half a dozen on the other. And the dosage, again, the dosage varies according to you, the symptoms. You're gonna to have to play around with this a little bit. So what do you do? Adjust the doses and timing, depending on symptoms. Okay, so if you're bloating, reef, acid reflux, belching, burping, that means you don't have enough acid in your stomach. It's not between one and three. So you take apple cider vinegar, betaine with HCL, or whatever you may find on your research. So you may want to play around with the dosage and the timing. So the dosage, so what you want to do, maybe you want to wait a little bit, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, maybe two hours to take it in order to balance out what's acidic and what's alkaline. Because your goal is to neutralize the acids coming into the duodenum. Or loose stool, let's flip it over. Okay, then you want to take it closer to meals because why? You want to build up the alkaline in the duodenum because your stomach seems fine, but now it's passing through the sphincter to an acidic environment of your duodenum. So you want to build up the duodenal pH. So you may want to take closer to meals, increase the dosage. Why? Because the duodenum is not alkaline enough. Okay, so in a nutshell, the purpose of taking ox bile is one, if you don't have a gallbladder, you need it anyways. 
But let's say you have a gallbladder. And let's say you went to like a big buffet, <laughs> a big buffet, and you just, you're just overloaded these, uh, the Chinese buffet, wow, I have no prejudice whatsoever, but Chinese buffets, yes, I like it, I do it every once in a while, but I need to carry me some of this to help with the, aid in the digestion process. Because ox bile, what does it do? It assists in the breakdown of foods, helps in the, the digestion of fats, and absorption of fat-soluble vitamins, vitamins A, D, E, and K. Okay, now the question is, what about tutka? Okay, now let's talk about tutka. Now again, I can't promote any brands, but this is the one that I always recommend. Now, tutka is more potent than ox bile because tutka is actually a type of bile salt. Now, I, put, I did previous videos on tutka, the benefits, and I put the links down below. So understand that tutka is good because it's bile salt. Ox bile is good if you don't have a gallbladder. Or if you do have a gallbladder and you just need some more digestive health. Now, the thing about Tutka, which makes it so great, it supports the liver. Now, you're talking about overall liver health. So, what does it do? It helps thin out the bile. What if you have a blockage? What if you did have a gallbladder removed and the canals are kind of are kind of pinched, they're kind of stenosed, so it does cause, cause a buildup and a blockage. So yes, this will help thin out the bile. Bilirubin, if you have any type of bilirubin issues, this is good for it as well. It decreases liver enzymes. Now for those, again, you wanna stabilize the liver enzymes. If you're taking medication, if you're drinking or doing any drugs, yes, it affects the liver. So this will help with the liver enzymes, it'll help decrease it. Directly decreases fibrosis. Directly rehabs the hepatocytes. What are hepatocytes? Hepatocytes are the liver cells in itself. So it helps rehab them. Protects the liver cell in oxid things like oxidation. So again, it helps overall liver function. Now the liver has over 300 functions of the body. So again, do your research on the functions of the liver because by taking Tutka, it will help it overall. Used as a therapy for cirrhosis. Now, before I hear people chiming in, cirrhosis, if, you're, if you have liver cirrhosis past 50%, it's not gonna work. Creates healthy bioflow. What if it's obstructive? What if you have a blockage? Protects the mitochondria of the liver. Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the, powerhouse of the cell which produces our cellular energy in the form of ATP. Improves digestion, reduces gut infection. So Tutka is a totally different supplement than ox bile. So one of the main things about Tutka, which I've always talked about, and I talk to my patients as a benefit to add on to your supplement program, it protects against glutamate toxicity. Now you have glutamate and you have GABA. They're two, they're two neurotransmitters. Glutamate is excitatory, GABA is inhibitory. Now again, if you have too, too much glutamate, and just not by taking the, the supplement of glutamine, no. I'm talking, you're going to have to take a lot and a lot, a lot of that stuff, but also too, you're gonna to have to take something that inhibits, stops the action of GABA. Increased glutamate levels contribute to neuro, many neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's, ALS, Parkinson's, hepatitis. Now, it's also good for that. So by taking Tutka, it's also good for like strokes, post-strokes, and heart health. Huntington's disease, diabetes, because that's all part, the liver works as in the body, it has over 300 functions. So the main goal of Tutka is that you want to support the liver. Okay, so here's the money question. Here's the money question. Here's the money shot. When do you take it and how much? Tutka is best absorbed taken on an empty stomach in between meals. Remember, ox bile, you take after a meal and you vary the dosage, you vary the time. Tutka, you, take, you want to take an empty stomach for best absorption and helps and best support supporting the liver. So then the dosage, anywhere from 500 milligrams to 1500 milligrams daily, depending on what your condition is. Now, research has proven that if you're working with something like Parkinson's or hepatitis or Huntington's or Alzheimer's, you may want to bump up the dosage because the liver, remember, it has over 300 functions of the body and you want to keep all those hepatocytes fully functioning. So yeah, you may need to double, triple the dosage depending on what your condition is, depending on what you research. Again, just a summary. What's the difference between ox bile and tutka? Ox bile assists in the breakdown of foods, 
helps in the digestion of fats and the absorption of fat soluble vitamins, vitamins A, D, E, and K. When you take it, you want to take it after meals. Tutka more supports the liver. It's more potent than ox bile because it works on two totally different systems. Has a greater benefit on the liver itself. We're going upstream. Supports liver function as a whole, particularly bioflow and gallbladder health. Before you ask, yes, you could take these two together. Take tutka in between meals and then take ox bile after meals. If you don't have a gallbladder, bottom line, you need ox bile. If you have a gallbladder, if you want to take it just because for an extra, like an extra digestive aid, sure, take it. I hope this cleared up a lot of confusion. If you like this, please subscribe, share with a friend, and I'll see you in the next video. Be good.